Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, Advanced Factoring Strategies for Quadratics. All right, so... I've been teaching algebra for several years now, and I'm new to Common Core in the last few years. And my BEATS method where I say factors of A times C that add up to B is listed right here. You consider the product factors of A times C that add up whose sum is B. It says it right there. Factors of C that add up to B. All right. Okay, so factors of A times C that add up to B, that is the BEATS method, but we don't want to do that if we can factor the GCF first. Always do the GCF first, and I can factor out a 2. So if I factor out a 2, I get x squared plus 5x plus 6, and that will become factors of C that add up to B. And that would be plus 2 plus 3. And that's it. We're done. So always GCF first, then this after. Always greatest common factor first. And B, there is no greatest common factor. 6 and 5. 5 is prime and 5 won't go into 6, obviously. So I will do my beats method where A equals 6, B equals 5, and C equals negative 6. So factors of A times C would be 6 times negative 6, which is negative 36. And I'm looking for the factors that add up to 5. So when I have a negative number, but this is positive, my bigger number is going to be positive. So it's going to be negative 1 times 36, but that adds up to 35. Negative 2 times 18 adds up to 16. Negative 3 times 12 adds up to 9. Negative 4 times 9 adds up to 5. Ding, 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 ding. There it is. So I do x minus 4, x plus 9. Don't forget we've divided by 6, or multiplied by 6. We have to divide by 6. Always reduce first. And we get this. Let me move this out of the way now. And what we're going to do now, since these don't factor or reduce any further, I mean, we're going to move these over here and thus get 3x minus 2, 2x plus 3. Okay, and there it is. Okay, finally I've seen this in a publication. Pretty cool. Exercise. Factor the following expressions using your method of choice. Okay, remember to always look for the GCF first before any other strategy. 2, 1, 10, no GCF. I am going to use the beats method. It's my favorite. I just go to it every time. A equals 2. B equals negative 1. C equals negative 10. Factors of 2 times negative 10, which is negative 20, are my factors. And the middle term is negative 1. So I want my bigger number negative. So 1 times negative 20 adds up to negative 19. 2 times negative 10 adds up to negative 8. 4 times negative 5 adds up to negative 1. Ding, ding, ding. Winner. Chicken dinner, x plus 4 times x minus 5. Do not forget your 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. x plus 2, and if this 2 won't go into the numerator, then it comes out front, 2x minus 5. My answer is x plus 2 times 2x minus 5. Beautiful. Okay. 
Six, seven, sevens prime, no GCF. So A equals six, B equals seven, C equals negative 20. Those are equal signs, by the way. When it does that, it looks like a less than symbol equals. Okay, so factors of A times C. I'm looking for factors. I'll move it way over here. Negative 6 times 20 is 120. And I need them to add up to 7. It's a positive, so the bigger number is positive. So negative 1 times 120 adds up to 119. Negative 2 times 60 adds up to 58. So it's really quickly we get close to that 7, closer to that 7. Negative 3, 40. Now we're already down to sum of 37. Negative 4, 30 is a sum of 26. Uh, negative 5 and 20. Nope. Uh, 5 goes into 12 once. 20, 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. We're really close. We needed 7. Uh, negative 6 times... 20. This is 24, isn't it? 5 times 2 is 10. Yeah, 24. Doesn't make sense getting smaller and then bigger again. All right, so made a mistake there. It's negative 5 times 24 is 120. Negative 6 times 20 is 120. And 20 minus 6 is 14. Oh, we're not there yet. It's 14. Not, no. Okay, negative 7 won't go. A 8 will, negative 8. 8 goes into 12 once. Remainder of 4, 8 goes into 45 times. 15 minus 8 is 7. So we do x minus 8. x plus 15. Do not forget to divide by your a, which was 6. Reduce first, if possible, x minus 4, x minus 4 thirds, x plus uh, 5 halves. Three, 15 divided by 3, 6 divided by 3. All right, now move my denominators over because we can't reduce any further. And we get 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 5. Woo, woo. Okay. Isn't this fun? Okay. Negative 4, 4, negative 1. No, GCFA. Oh, ooh, time out. We want to get rid of that negative leading coefficient. So I'm going to... Mm, factor out a negative 1. So it would be negative 1 times 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Emphasizing the change in sign there. Now a equals 4. b equals negative 4. Why does it keep jumping like that? And c equals 1. Okay. Factors of A times C. 4 times 1 is 4. I'm looking for factors of 4 that add up to negative 4. All right, so when it's negative, we have opposite signs. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, but 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 2 times negative 2 is 0 when we add them, and then we have 4 times negative 1, which is 3. Okay, so in this case, that did not work. But if you remember, the last lesson, lesson 3, they asked you to look for possible factors in the quadratic and linear terms, and that's what we have here. So the beats method did not work here. All right, so what now, you ask? Well, if you remember lesson three, you should be able to tell me. 
There's a 4x in both terms, so it's 4x squared, and move the negative out front, plus 4x minus 1. So my first term is going to be 4x. Oops. Alright, minus 1. First term is going to be 4, why am I doing that? 4x. 4x. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a 4x, it's a 2x. Holy cow. Forgot to take the square root there. It's 2x. 2x squared is 4x squared. And then 2 times 2x. That's better. So my first term is 2x. 2x. And then I have a positive 2 and a minus 1 here. So it is going to be, and don't forget this negative sign here, so if I move that in here, then that will change the sign of this. All right, so now we have to figure out what our constant's going to be. It's got to be both 1 to get 1 times 1. So these are both 1s. This could be minus and this could be plus, or this could be plus and this could be minus, or this could be minus, minus, plus, plus. Which is it? If I put a minus there and a plus there, then that should do it. Negative 2x times 2x is negative 4x squared. Fact foil the outside, I get 2x. Inside, I get 2x. That adds up to 4x, and 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. There is our answer. Okay. Number four, the area, of per, 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 the area of a particular triangle can be represented by x squared plus 3 halves, x minus 9 halves. What's the base and the height in terms of x? Okay. Well, I am going to multiply everything through by 2. So if I take x squared plus 3 halves x, minus 9 halves, and multiply it by 2. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 3 halves x, the 2's cancel and we get 3x. 2 times negative 9 halves, the 2's cancel and we get negative 9. Much nicer. Now I will do my beats method. A equals 2. B equals 3. C equals negative 9. Factors of a times c, 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. And when I do a factor tree of that, my middle term is positive, so my bigger number needs to be positive. Negative 1 times 18 adds up to 17. Negative 2 times 9, they add up to 7. Negative 3 times 6, they add up to 3, and that's my numbers. So I do x minus 3 x plus 6. Don't forget to divide your a back out. And if it doesn't reduce, it goes out in front. 2x minus 3. And if it does reduce, reduce it. Okay. All right. But I could do that. Or What I really should do, hmm, hmm, oh, I multiplied this by 2, so I need to divide it by 2, or multiply it by a half, so that would be my final answer right here. Okay, almost forgot I scaled that up, I need to scale it back down. So there's our answer.
All right, that was a quick one. That is the end of lesson four. Review the lesson summary and go do your problem set.